Hi folks, hope you're all keeping well out there. Um, welcome to this, the next video in the series, and this is looking at February 2016's uh, autograph returns. So we'll go through the autographs that I got back, um, hopefully give you a bit of information about them. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Thanks very much. Okay, so the first video, uh, sorry, the first autograph we're going to uh, look at is uh, this one from Pete Best. Um, I love this, this is really cool. Pete, for those who don't know, Pete Best was the original drummer in the Beatles. Uh, he was the drummer before Ringo Starr. He was replaced by Ringo sort of just before the Beatles hit the big time, which is kind of a bit of a sad story, really, considering the career he could have had compared to the one he's got. Now, that, that's no besmirch on, on Pete because he, he's had a decent music career. Um, but I love this picture. It's him with uh, George, um, Paul and John pretty much sort of towards the end of his time with them. Um, I sent this off to an address I got in fanmail.biz, um, uh, which is basically the address of the music company that he, he um, sort of co-owns or, or um, uh, the area that he works in, um, and got a really quick turnaround on this. I know people are a little bit iffy about sending Beatles pictures to Pete, obviously, because of the fact he was let go by the Beatles, and there's, there was quite a bit of animosity about it at the time. Um, but he was obviously quite happy to sign this for me. You can see he signed across his drum kit um, over to the right-hand side of the picture. Um, so a really nice one to get back from Pete Best, and a nice one to sort of include as part of Beatles um, memorabilia, because obviously, you know, you're never going to get George and John's autograph unless you pay hefty, hefty amounts um, Paul never signs these days, and Ringo has recently stopped signing as well. So, so it was great to get um, Pete Best's signature on on this Beatles picture. Uh, the next autograph is really cool, and it's very different to the sorts of stuff I've sent out before. This autograph is from a lady by the name of Eva Schloss. Um, the story behind this is that Eva, um, as a young Jewish girl living uh, in the Netherlands in 1944, was. Uh, uh, arrested and by the Nazis and sent to Auschwitz concentration camp with her mother, a sister and brother and father. Um, sadly her brother and father were killed at Auschwitz but she, uh, her sister and mother were liberated in 1945 um, and following the war about a year or so later her mother met um, Otto Frank and married him. For those who don't know Otto Frank is the father of Anne Frank, the writer of Diary of a Young Girl. Um, and this cover that I sent to you is actually the front cover of one of her books. Um, I could only find the, the Dutch cover for it online which was a bit of a pain but that, that, that's fine. Um, but she sent this back to me very very quickly and signed, signed the cover for me. Um, since getting this autograph back I've actually had the pleasure of meeting um, Eva Schloss. She's a lovely lady. She's in her sort of late 80s now um, but she's a lovely lovely lady I met up with her and we had a chat about her history which is fascinating um, I'm not going to share this address because as it turns out the address I sent to I thought it was sort of a business type address but actually it was her home address um, and I don't want to share home addresses on here obviously that's not very fair to the people um, but she was lovely and she sent this back to me and, I'm, and this is one I'm definitely going to treasure as, as something which has just got so much history behind it it's, it's a fantastic um, autograph result uh, next autograph I got was from a lady called Lorna Roberts. She's a UK sort of plus size model, it's called, um, UK model. Um, she's best known for those in the UK. She played Miss Mackenzie in the music video um, What I Go, Go to School For by the band Busted. Um, and that's a picture of her with one of the cast of Busted there. I remember the song from sort of growing up. Um, she was pretty fit in it as well, to be fair. Um, but uh, so I sent her this picture and I also sent her um, this one as well, which is one of her modeling photographs. Um, I think I sent, sent this via the Storm Modeling Agency. This wasn't from Fan Mail, although I've registered the success on there, so I think it has been added to um, the Fan Mail page now. Um, but yeah, again, another really quick turnaround. All three of the last autographs I've shown you have been very, very quick turnarounds. Um, only literally a couple of weeks to get each one back, which is really cool. Uh, next autograph was a, um, a website request. This is for, from Linda Clark, who um, is an actress who's done numerous things, but the one I really wanted an autograph for, um, she played the character Blood Tide um, in an episode of Doctor Who. Um, so I, I went onto her website, which I have listed here on my, on my blog, you can see the link to the website there, um, and just sent her a request for an autograph. Got this within a matter of about a week or so. So um, really, really nice lady, very, very pleased to get this back. And there's another one for the Doctor Who collection, um, which, which is great.
Uh, next autograph I got back, this is really cool, again this was via a website, this is Julie Dolan who um, is the voice of Princess Leia in Star Wars Rebels um, series. Um, so I went to her website and there's a contact section on there so I sent her a request again. Got this back from the USA pretty quickly, it took about, about three weeks I think, which is pretty good turnaround from the US. Um, Obviously you've got her in it, it's got Princess Leia, and she signed it to Carl, may the force be with you, Julie Dolan, which is really cool, so I like that. So um, yeah, really nice uh, really nice turnaround on this one, and a really nice response from, from Julie. So any Star Wars fans out there, before she kind of gets swamped with requests and stops doing them, maybe worth jumping on her website and uh, sending off a request to her. Uh, next set of autographs I got are from Mark Heap. Um, Mark is a British comedy actor who's just been in pretty much everything. Um, in the TV series Spaced, he's done Friday Night Dinner, um, the very, very dark comedy Jam, um, I think he's done Brass Eye, he's been in Misfits, he's been in numerous, numerous things. Um, so I sent him three pictures, oh, no, sorry, I sent him two pictures um, through the post to his to his agent's address. Um, and again, this was quite a quick turnaround as, as well, actually. I think this was about three weeks, which is, which again is pretty quick. Um, so I sent him the first picture you can see here, which is him in the TV series Misfits, which I love. And if you haven't seen it, uh, I highly recommend you watch it. It's superb. Um, I also sent him this picture, which is um, a sort of spaced cast picture. And he signed that in, in silver originally, which wasn't very clear. So he's re-signed over it in black. Um, again, it's not massively clear, but it is signed by him, which is great. But he also included a picture of his own as well, which is him as Jim from the TV series Friday Night Dinner. So I actually got three three back. I sent two to him, and I got three back. Um, so they're really cool. Really pleased to get those back from from Mark Heap. He's a brilliant actor and a very very funny guy. So that was that was a really cool response. Uh, again, a, a, this request was sent just by an address I got from fanmail.biz. Um, so if you're looking for autograph addresses, go to fanmail.biz. You can just type in the name of the person you're looking for, and nine times out of ten, there's a pretty good working address in there for, for you to use. Uh, and the last autograph for February, it's a little bit of a cheat this one, I actually forgot I had it, um, I got it about two years ago, um, but I just added it because I completely forgot I had it and found it out of nowhere. It's for the um, Welsh rap, rap group Goldie Looking Chain. Um, I actually purchased their Christmas CD from their website, um, they had a special offer on if you purchased their Christmas CD that they, you they'd all sign it for you, you get a signed copy. Um, so this is just the inside of the CD cover actually, um, which is signed, it's signed by Reese, Misty, Billy, Adam, Mike Balls, Eggsy, Maggot, Two Hats and Graham the Bear, so it's signed by you know the entire entire group. Um, so as I say, it's about two years ago I got this, so the likelihood is you're not going to get a copy of this now because they're probably all sold out. Um, but I wanted to add it on here just because it's another autograph that I just forgot to add and I thought it'd be a cool one to, to put on. Uh, and that's it for this video. So those are the autographs I've had or I've added uh, during February. Um, looking forward to getting back in touch with you in March, uh, sorry, in April, uh, beginning of April for all of March's autographs. Please subscribe, feel free to subscribe below, leave any comments, ask any questions, that kind of stuff. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video, it's been great to speak to you again and uh, speak to you again soon. Cheers.